Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday, January 27th. I'm in the fifth week of my office reorganization project, and as you can see, it's going swimmingly. Hank, today's video comes to you in two very special parts. Part one, the best New Year's resolution ever. Happy New Year, streamers! Hank, the best New Year's resolution ever, Happy New Year's streamers, is a book that I wrote when I was a child that I have discovered during my office reorganization project. Three years ago on New Year's Day, everybody in my family had to make one New Year's resolution. I hated that. Mom, why us? Because. Uh, Hank, if we can take just one second away from the story, I'd like to explore the whole question of this staircase to nowhere. When I was a kid growing up in Orlando, Florida, I believed that the definition of rich was that you had stairs in your house. Like, I believed in the whole direct relationship between richness and stairs so completely that I thought that the IRS, like, came to your house every year and was like, how many stairs you got? And you were like, 13? And they were like, that'll be $20,000. All right, back to the story now. My mother promised to clean out the drawers. She hasn't done that since we left Michigan in 26. Mom, there is little brown things. Dad promised to weigh under 600 pounds. That would be a miracle. I promised to weigh under 600 pounds. But Dad, that's what you promised last year. By the way, note that you can tell Dad is fat due to his belly. My brother promised to take a bath. He smells like a skunk. At the bottom of the stairs, like a typical poor kid, Hank's like, I'll take a bath. And then at the top of the stairs, little Mr. Rich Pants says, you've never done that. And me? Well, I promise to try my hardest. Bravo! Thank you. And out of all the resolutions, mine was the only one to come true. Yay! And then you can see the stairs that lead up to the top of the podium. What has the first podium slot? Oh, it's me. The end. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I mean, Dad, you're not fat, Mom. There is no little brown things in the cabinets. And Hank, you don't sm- Well, actually, you could stand to take more showers. Part 2, the reinvigoration of the Ning. Hank, the Ning has been suffering from a little bit of neglect, so much so that in fact many people watching this video are probably saying, what's the Ning? Link in the sidebar. And I think I've come to the conclusion that we just can't run the Ning by ourselves. Hank, what we need is some Ning Masters. Ning Master is a fun word to say. It's like all the best parts of a Ring Master, except you don't have to get eaten by lions. So Nerdfighter, starting soon there will be a few Ning Masters. They're going to feature new content on the main page of the Ning. They're going to organize and moderate the crazy Ning forums, and they're generally just going to raise up the awesome levels of the Ning. If you are a committed Made of Awesome Nerdfighter who would like to be a Ning Master, apply by creating a blog post telling me why you should be a Ning Master, and then I will pick a few of my favorites, and those people will become Ning Masters. Also, even if you do not want to be a Ning Master, if you do want to share your creative awesome with other people on the Ning, start making blog posts. In fact, even if you're uploading photos and videos, try to upload them as blog posts, because that makes it much more likely that we can feature them on the front page. Okay. Okay, I gotta go back to writing the Paper Town screenplay. Hank, thanks for being awesome. Nerdfighters, oh my gosh, you're so great.